Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com, the purchase and pricing email line from you to me and my hand-picked crew to answer your questions about the pricing or the purchase of this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the 2010 GPHG Men's Watch Laureate. This is the Laurent Ferrier Galle Classic Tourbillon Double Spiral, 41 millimeters in yellow gold. The timepiece does indeed feature a Besançon Observatory qualified double hairspring chronometer tourbillon caliber. The watch is reasonably slender at 13.1 millimeters considering the long power reserve and the complicated mechanism from lug to lug, measuring 49.6 millimeters with a traditional 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The factory strap is medium brown, large rectangular scale gator semi-gloss folded edge monotone stitch with a wonderful suede insert on the underside that feels as good as you'd imagine. And you can see this is a brand new Laurent Ferrier factory strap, a wonderful almost biomorphic organic looking yellow gold pin buckle and of course you can see on the underside Laurent Ferrier branded. Let's throw this watch on my wrist. My wrist of course you know it well 16 centimeters circumference and at 41 millimeters and almost 50 millimeters lug to lug this is a chunky dress watch. It's not to say it has awkward proportions just that it's substantial. There's a lot of it and if you think traditional dress watches are too petite for you or you want something with the boldness of a sports watch but the elegance of a dress watch this is an awesome choice. Now let's jump back and take a look at the watch by the way, I would recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Now there's a lot going on, but the case itself is fairly simple. Galet or pebble, it is designed to look like a pebble that has had all of its rough edges smoothed off through eons in a running stream. And you can see that there are some character lines, especially about the mid case, but everything is rounded off, organic. That is a recurring theme with this watch. And you'll note that there is a domed bezel that blends into the contour of the case itself. The lug have a little bit of a teardrop under tuck and then you can see that the case back slopes back which actually means it wears thinner than it's 13.1 millimeters when it's on the wrist. Let me try to keep everything in focus here because it is very difficult to capture some of these details. You can see that the crown is almost a pocket watch inspired onion style and I can verify that winding this watch is one of the most pleasurable manual wind experiences you will ever have. The sound, the resistance, the detent, all of it. This might be the best winding watch I've ever encountered. Now the dial of this watch is an extraordinary Grand Faux enamel masterpiece. As you can see, it is white enamel, a vitreous paint on a gold base. The glass based paint is spread on a solid gold base and then fired up to 20 times at 800 degrees centigrade to achieve what you see here. We have radially arrayed Roman numerals in black. You will note if you look very carefully, ghosted below the hands, it does say Torbion double spiral. The printing and the branding is all very minimal. Rolex, take note. There's a polished chapter ring, so you have an enamel subregister with red printed indices and hashes for constant seconds. Then you have these spear style or Esagai white gold hands for the hours and the minutes. Minimalism at its best. Turn it all over? Well, <laughs> sometimes maximalism has its advantage. Advantages. This is the FBN 91601 caliber. So, of course, Ferrier, but also Barbasini and Nivas, the partners in La Fabrique du Temps, which helped to design and finish this movement. It's the best of Geneva, as this is a Louis Vuitton company that provided experience in haute de gamme finishing as well as computer use in modeling and design. The movement itself features no fewer than eight interior angles around the half bridge for the tourbillon and you can see it's actually a full bridge with a half bridge architecture on one side and then a mono shaft on the other. So you have four interior angles there and then the tourbillon carriage itself features four more interior angles. Let me see how close I can get without corrupting the focus. Now the balance beats weigh 21,600 vibrations per hour and it features two free sprung hair springs and so all adjustment is done using variable inertia masses by orienting the hair springs top and bottom 180 degrees out of phase with each other when one is inclined to speed up due to gravity the other will slow down and vice versa thereby fully canceling out the effects of gravity and positional orientation restoring the original purpose of the tourbillon which is even an accurate timekeeping now the watch of course features a manual wind 80 hour power reserve and that 21 six beat rate meets out the 80 hours of reserve, all of it certified in Besançon, the French observatory chronometer trials. 
revived for this watch as a fully cased watch going through the ISO 3159 standards, basically the definition of a chronometer, for two weeks tested and certified in Besançon. Not as a bare movement as with the COSC, but as a complete assembled watch. 23 joules adjusted in six positions and 30 meters water resistant. This is as good as it gets. And note the discretion, the subtlety of a case back tourbillon. Excellent taste here. The anglage, as you can see, gleaming and exploding in the box as I roll this one through the light. The chamfer on the edge of every bridge and substructure is mirrored. The same treatment in the jewel and screw sinks. Abrasive wheel coat de Genève, dark on one side, light on the other. Engine turned perlage on the base plate. The half bridge featuring some black polished and satin components and every screw had black polished with chamfered slots as well as circumference. This is as good as finish gets. This is better than many Geneva Hallmark movements I have encountered. A watch of extraordinary subtlety and horological achievement. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com to live this dream.